The occupying power has also undermined UNRWA, the main lifeline to Palestinians in Gaza. I give the floor to United Nations Watch. How fitting that this council meets here in the Hall of Qatar, sponsored by the country now hosting Hamas terrorist chiefs in Doha luxury hotels. Now, in her report, Ms. Albanese urges funding of UNRWA, which she, she says is being attacked. Let's consider. Yesterday, UNRWA chief Philippe Lazzarini was next door to meet with the Swiss Parliament's Foreign Affairs Committee. They announced that I will be invited to brief them next. Here's a preview of what I will say. On February 10th, the world discovered that the terror tunnel right below UNRWA headquarters in Gaza with electric cables going from the UNRWA grid to power computer servers forming a Hamas intelligence center. Mr. Lazzarini responded that day, quote, UNRWA did not know what is under its headquarters, end quote. Really? Because on February 2nd, the Wall Street Journal reported, quote, in 2014, part of the parking lot at UNRWA headquarters in Gaza began sinking, likely from a Hamas tunnel dug beneath. No one knew what was causing the collapse, a former UNRWA official said, quote, but everyone knew. I repeat, everyone knew. When it was revealed, numerous UNRWA employees took part in the massacre of October 7th, which you just heard about. Lazzarini and his surrogates claimed, it's just a few bad apples. Really? In September 2011, Su'el al-Hindi, chair of the UNRWA staff union, principal of a boys' school, was suspended for his role with Hamas. He was a member of the Hamas Politburo with Yahya Sinwar. In response, the entire UNRWA staff in Gaza, 8,000 teachers and school principals, went on strike to support him. UNRWA is rotten to the core. Thank you.